Hey, what's going on guys? This is Devin from Safe Haven Music. Today we've got a brand new Charvel DKA 22 Super Stock. <laughs> The Superstock line is something that I think has been around for a little while. They usually do like one every so often. This is definitely the new one. This one definitely caught my eye because, I mean, if you look at it, it's not really your typical Charvel that you're used to seeing, especially for a DK. DK, of course, is for dinky bodies because they're, of course, the smaller of the two between Jackson's dinky and Soloist. But, of course, Charvel does the dinky bodies. But with it being DKA, you've got a, an arch top. The way that they've been doing DKAs over uh, Jackson and Charvel's span of time has been very different. Always many different takes. Sometimes the uh, top car will kind of dip and come back up and rise. And that was kind of like the main style of DKAs pretty much forever until, I mean, we have this here where you see the top carve is really just sloped down and the arch is really just in order to kind of like mold you to the instrument more. In my opinion, it gives a lot of takes to Joe Cetriani's Ibanez. Even then, so uh, Jackson's Misha Mansour Juggernaut signature model, because um, his body style was based off of an arch top dinky that he modified and gave uh, larger horns and more pointiness to the body and everything. But with this, it's taking a very similar top carve and applying it to the dinky body for a production line of a non signature guitar. With that in mind, we're getting something kind of brand new that we haven't really seen before, especially with the, the toothpaste logo on the headstock. It's actually outlined. Instead of having like the traditional Charvel logo with like the shape of the guitar or even just filled in like this, the outline, the kind of cream uh, toothpaste logo outline. Um, against the roasted maple neck that we have here is just so striking and different. It looks very simplistic, but once you get deeper into the specs of it all, you get to see like this is really a huge just sleeper of a guitar. <laughs> have like a Charvel like faster slim neck 12 to 16 inch compound radius with jumbo frets of course go to 510 bridge which is very normal for them but they've actually at this time uh, went with a bent steel saddle style which is very similar to like Stratocasters and stuff so I guess they were looking to maybe like change things up but I don't find any issues with the tuning stability at all. I think it sounds fantastic. Uh, there's definitely something to say about the Ben Steel saddle. People have said that it's supposed to sound better than the traditional modern square saddles, but I'm not too sure. It just sounds amazing to me. Beyond that, as I said before, we have the roasted maple neck with an ebony fretboard. And on the side here, we actually have lumen lace side dots. So when you're on stage, of course, you'll be able to see what you're playing all on a alder body. So again, another very cool kind of left turn when it comes to Charvel because they usually end up using like basswood bodies, ash, maybe even poplar, even mahogany sometimes. So the fact that we're getting now an alder body with a roasted maple neck that's kind of verging on like fender wood combinations, which allows for a guitar like this to really sing in a unique way. And that um, ends up getting tied directly into the pickups that we have in here. They may look like regular just covered humbuckers, but we actually have in the neck a Seymour Duncan 59, which a 59 is seen quite a lot in many different pickup sets, but I think it really needs a bridge pickup in order for it to like shine in the best way that it can. So this is actually a Seymour Duncan custom custom. Um, I don't know what is more custom about this custom than the other custom. Count how many times I say custom in that, but. <laughs> Either way, it sounds fantastic. Not only does it have such a unique pickup set, but they ended up going with a very cool wiring layout. 
they went with a five way, no push pulls, but our two and four positions do split. So for our wiring scheme, of course, in the first position is our bridge, and our second position is actually the outer coil of the bridge and the inner coil of the neck. Um, usually when you mix those outer and inner coils in a pickup set, you get such a like uh, dramatic type of split coil sound that's much better than even getting one single slug coil out of one pickup. It's all about when, you're, uh, when you play an actual Stratocaster and you have that two in your four positions that mixes the bridge in the middle or the neck in the middle, it's always such a great combination for the glassiest, biggest tone. So uh, in the middle, of course, is both full on. And the fourth position is our inner coil of the bridge and our outer coil of the neck. Again, another amazing split coil sound. I think that's probably my favorite between the two. They both sound incredible, but again, many different applications you'll, as you'll see in the um, clean passage that we play. And then, of course, all the way up in the fifth position is our neck uh, full on. <laughs> For our wiring, we have, of course, a volume tone. And for the tone, we actually have a no load tone pot. So when it's full on, there's actually a notch that it locks into. And when that happens, it removes the uh, tone circuit out of the wiring scheme. Because as you know, when you remove the tone capacitor out of the uh, wiring circuit of the pickups, you end up giving yourself more headroom and more top end into uh, the voicing. And they end up reacting just so much better and at least in my opinion, and they really tend to scream really well. And this guitar, especially between the Alder and the Roasted Maple and the Ebony and the Custom Custom Pickup, like both of them, it just growls really hard. And that's another thing I wanted to come at with uh, this type of guitar. Um, it being a sleeper and, and with the Dirty Riff that I played, that was more of a rhythm type of hardcore thing. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, including myself, a lot of hardcore fans um, that work for the company and we kind of analyze the guitars that a lot of people are playing out there. I mean, Turnstile is playing Jackson's, uh, Drain is playing Jackson's, and there's much more other genres that are, of course, using Jackson's, but with the fact that I think more FMIC companies are starting to verge into that type of genre, they might start specking guitars that kind of evoke a much cooler, 
yet sleeker and like more low key type of presence while still like maintaining this humongous hot rod sound that it has and still being this really cool like vintage modern type of look like between the very modern arch top of this dinky body and then you have the of course fender style Chauvel headstock with the outline toothpaste logo you get something that Chauvel really has not done before in I don't know either a long time or ever and even on the back here as well you can see that it's still a regular dinky body as we have like the handshake heel carve with the scoop out below, uh, below the uh, bottom horn so you can get uh, higher fret access and it still has like that rounded edge even on the back that we see that comes around the top for the arch top and it really just makes for a guitar that just like hugs you when you're when you're sitting and playing and even when you're like standing and playing too like it just molds your body and it, with it being like lightweight this is such an easy guitar to play uh, for any type of style <laughs> Your ultimate do-it-all guitar while still looking so classy. I want to see more. We, we got to see more of this. I love this guitar. We better get more or else I'm going to buy it. <laughs> this has been the Charvel DKA uh, 22 Super Stock in this amazing gloss black. Definitely check out our website on our YouTube and Instagram.